Hello and welcome to GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. Today is Monday the 3rd of May and it's very wet and, and kind of a dreary weather in, in Dublin at the moment. But uh, there's always a reason to celebrate in, in, in the Catholic Church. We have many saints who we honor throughout the year. And today is the feast day of two of the apostles, Saints Philip and James, both who, who, who are linked together mainly because their relics are, are uh, enshrined in the same church in Rome. I believe Philip uh, died somewhere in the Middle East, uh, possibly in, in Syria or in modern-day Turkey. And uh, James was, uh, was martyred in Jerusalem, where he was the bishop, after the, the other apostles uh, dispersed to other, other parts of the world. So um, we'll begin with a, a very popular hymn called Faith of Our Fathers. Faith of our fathers living still In spite of dungeon fire and sword Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy Whene'er we hear that glorious word Faith of our fathers, holy faith We will be true to thee till death We will be true to thee till death. Our fathers chained in prisons dark were still in heart and conscience free. How sweet would be their children's fate if they like them could die for thee. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Saints Philip and James, their feast day, is, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, is today. They are the patrons of uh, Uruguay. Uh, James is the patron saint of pharmacists and Philip of pastry chefs. According to tradition, James and Philip are honored on the same feast day to commemorate the dedication in 565 of what is now called the Church of the Twelve Apostles. This Roman basilica has relics of Philip and James that were discovered in a marble sarcophagus under the high altar during renovations in the year 1873. Philip was from Bethsaida on the shores of the Lake of Galilee. After meeting Jesus, Philip enthusiastically encouraged the wary Nathaniel, Come and see. At the Last Supper, Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. James, the son of Alphaeus, is sometimes called James the Less to distinguish him from the other apostle James, the son of Zebedee and the brother of St. John the Evangelist. Although it's disputed, tradition identifies James the Less as the man who was related to Jesus and then later became the leader of the church in Jerusalem. According to the Jewish historian Josephus, James was martyred around the year 62. Reflection. We don't know that much about either Philip or James, but we honor them because the apostles hold a special place in our Catholic faith. We are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. The church built on that foundation offers us stability in every troubled time. Jesus gave us the church as part of his plan for salvation. And as the church, we are now his body on earth. Prayer. Saints Philip and James, you willingly gave your lives to testify to your love for Jesus Christ and his church. Pray that we might be apostles in our time who draw others to Jesus. Amen. So we say a decade of the rosary now in honor of uh, all the apostles, all the modern day successors of the apostles, the bishops and all the priests serving under them. 
May God give them the grace to be courageous in proclaiming the truth, the gospel of life to the people of our time. So we uh, will say the third mystery of light, the proclamation of the kingdom. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saints Philip and James, and all you holy angels and saints, pray for us. We'll finish with a familiar hymn, be not afraid. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in Follow me. 
Thank you very much for watching GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. May you have a wonderful day, and may the Lord continue to bless you and your family in every way. Thank you.